So cycling twice a day, well, is it too much? No, it's not too much. In fact, it can be a great idea and I definitely recommend that you give it a try. It can be too much, but then again, you can be doing too much by cycling once a day, or you can cycle too much by doing three times a week or even twice a week or whatever. You just have to be careful and build up gradually and stay within sensible limits. In endurance sport, training twice a day is really common. Runners train twice a day. The best runners almost all train twice a day and I think in some cases train three times a day. In cycling, I uh, have a friend who lives in York and spend a lot of time there with her and I often see the Sky team now, the Ineos team, out for a morning spin, you know, 45 minutes. They got capped four mentor and back and uh, that faster ride builds their fitness and uh, gives them a, a good starting point for the rest of the day. In fact, along those lines, it can be actually better to have done an easy session in the morning to uh, help with the second session of the day. And if you're doing a strength session, it might be your second session or a cycling session. And it's been found that people lift more weight if they do, if they've done a, a session in the morning, an easy, low intensity training session. And uh, also the interval session, if you're doing a high intensity cycling session in the afternoon, then the uh, interval session can be more effective or you can do a shorter session in the morning and a longer session in the afternoon to build up the volume or vice versa. You might want to do your main session in the morning if it's an endurance day and then just have a spin in the afternoon to spin your legs out. So in over 10 years of coaching, I've found that uh, twice a day training is really effective and um, I definitely prescribe it to athletes who've got time to do it and they've built up sufficient volume to make it work for them. I, um, I started coaching Karen Dark in 2009 and she wanted to do the Paralympics in London, which seemed a bit of a mad idea because uh, all she'd done is a couple of hand cycle races in the past and she'd been last in both of them. But we worked together and figured things out and she got better and um, got a place with the British Cycling Squad and uh, one thing led to another and I ended up being offered a job with British Cycling so we both went to uh, London with British Cycling. She got a silver medal and the other hand cyclist uh, with the squad got a, a bronze medal so that was quite a success. We went on to Rio and she... Uh, won a gold medal and uh, we're now looking forward to Tokyo and in that time I've learnt a lot about how what works for people not just hand cyclists I've coached a lot of cyclists and uh, and runners um, notably Jenny Graham who just broke the round the world record so I've had a lot of success working with uh, uh, bike packers and ultra endurance cyclists uh. and in that time what I found is that um, getting a good amount of training in a good low intensity volume works well and training twice a day can be a great way to do that. So how do you do it? Well, well, obviously you just go out, go out twice a day, but I mean, it's not as simple as that. What I found is it takes a couple of weeks to uh, get used to it. During the second week of uh, two rides a day, you tend to feel pretty tired and, and uh, wonder whether it's a good idea. But if you push through after that sort of 10 to 14 day period, then things get easier and actually you start to feel a lot better and uh, and the routine works really well. It's a great way and you what you'll find is that you, you very quickly start to gain fitness and you find that you're recovering faster because your body's used to doing sort of two, two uh, efforts per day rather than just the one. So the important thing to do, the first thing to do is just focus on the routine. Don't worry about the intensity and maybe even stop your higher intensity sessions or do something a bit easier during that two week period so that you're just focusing on getting out two sessions a day maybe not every day just maybe three days a week or four days a week think about your week and what works well for you what I found is that uh, doing two sessions Monday, Tuesday having a longer ride on a Wednesday two sessions on Thursday perhaps two on Saturday depending on how, how things are working for you so you're sort of giving yourself little breaks during the week so it's like two on, one off, one on Friday. I usually have as a rest day or a very easy day. So start with about 20 minutes and do that for a couple of weeks. Combine it with your normal training or back off a little bit with your other training sessions so that you establish a routine. It's the routine that's everything. Keep it really low intensity because what you're trying to do with the 
first session of the day or the two sessions a day type protocol is to build volume and build low intensity volume so that you're building that aerobic threshold which builds the base, brings everything faster, means that the high intensity works more effective and also means that you can do perhaps a little bit more high intensity work once you get used to the system. So keep it easy and then you should be okay. You don't want to be starting increasing the volume and get all enthusiastic and start increasing the intensity as well. Another thing to bear in mind is that if you, um, you, you should probably start feeling fitter after this two week period. So don't get carried away. You're still doing more volume than you used to. Your body hasn't adapted completely in two weeks. So don't be tempted to start building up high intensity sessions, doing more gaming to break sort of Strava segments and whatever else. Keep it careful, build up gradually, take a few months to get used to it, build up that volume slowly and you, you'll be great and you'll really notice the benefits. So I hope you found this useful and uh, if you like, um, like it then please subscribe and click the bell to uh, so that you get a reminder when uh, we produce new videos